well, oh, well, backlit. Oof, good lord. Well, morning. Um, so it's a beautiful Saturday morning, um, end of July, middle of July, and I've uh, noticed that my uh, living in Vermont, the uh, winter storm coming, has gained a lot of traction. I think there's a lot of people that are interested in moving to Vermont, trying to find out about Vermont, partly because low population base and the whole coronavirus thing. I know that Vermont seems to have a very low rate of it. I think it's because it's rural and whatnot, but I um, figured we'd uh, maybe go over some of the stuff, tell me what you guys want to see. So it's a beautiful morning and I'm going to go out and check the garden, see what we've got uh, growing. So let me go ahead and switch this camera around and uh, show you what uh, how, the, how the garden's looking. So we do have raised bed with some peas and getting quite a few peas here and then we have beans, basil, a cucumber that we are growing vertically and then that is a those are cherry tomatoes and then regular tomatoes marigolds there's a, another cherry tomato so yeah we got uh, quite a few quite a few vegetables coming it's gonna be a good year for for the garden and we don't have a huge garden we used to have this massive 50 by 100 garden but that's a full-time job, taking care of something that big. And then we would usually get tomato blight and use lose probably three-quarters of our tomatoes. So it just got to the point where it wasn't worth it. So something like this, a little bit smaller, um, just gets us some fresh fruits. and I mean fresh fruits. <laughs> um, fresh vegetables. And uh, there's plenty of farmer, farmer's markets around that we can stop at and get, get fresh stuff. Um, so thinking of maybe doing more on um, living in Vermont. I was kind of, before this all started, the whole uh, lockdown virus, end of the world, zombie apocalypse, I, I was focusing more on tourist, trying to do more tourist stuff, um, places you could visit and come here, but judging by the amount of views I'm getting for the living in Vermont one, I think I may focus more on on living in Vermont. If that's something you guys want to see, drop me a comment down below and uh, let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in or not. But I thought today we would talk about some of the some of the language that gets used, some of the words, I would say, differences. I know, um, so summertime here, big thing in Vermont is creamies. It's not C-R-E-A-M-Y. It's C-R-E-E-M-E-E. -E -E creamy which down south I believe you guys call a soft serve I don't know what they call it out in the west I don't know but yeah that's a so go go for a creamy creamy stand um, that's some of the words soda it's not a pop not a coke it's it's a soda you want a soda not a soft drink soda for living in Vermont it's just one of the things we say oh uh, hoagie, it's not a hoagie here. It is a grinder, G-R-I-N-D-E-R, -E grinder. So if you want a, you want a hoagie, you want a sub, no, you go in and you ask for a grinder. That's what I want. I want a grinder. It's just one of those, you know. Every region has their own, their own vocabulary, their own words that they use. Yeah, I don't know. beautiful day. Got to mow the lawn. Do some work inside. But first it's coffee and say morning to you guys. So other parts of living in Vermont. Living in Vermont. Um, taxes. Taxes are relatively high for what you get in Vermont. So we have a... Uh, some of my other videos, it's... Uh, um, when working on the house, 1850s farmhouse, we got just under an acre of land 
in a very rural part of the state and our taxes property taxes are about 20 2800 a year majority of that is school tax um, we have a volunteer fire department no police coverage other than um, the sheriffs and the state police when they do patrol which isn't very often so yeah we don't get a lot of services for our taxes and I know the closer, the more you are in Chittenden County, Burlington, Colchester area, um, Essex, Williston, your, your taxes are, are, they go through the roof um, for down there. So compared to like New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, your property taxes are probably going to be less than what you're paying now. But for other parts of the country, if you're coming here, your taxes are, are your property taxes. Look at those. Those are probably going to be more expensive than what you're used to. Um, groceries, I did do a video for uh, how much groceries cost. Uh, I'll link that in one of the uh, end title things that you can click on up above here, here, or wherever it comes in. Um, so I'll do that, but uh, we shop at uh, pretty much Hannaford's. There's also Price Chopper or Market 32 if is their rebranding. And there's, um, there's Shaw's. And there's a couple of local um, health there's healthy living here there's a trader joe's one trader joe's and i think that's it for like um now there's a vermont food co-op down in burlington but i don't go there because their parking is atrocious there's like no parking um and if you are going to move to vermont live in vermont you need to get used to how rural the state is um there is no i mean there is some mass transit but there's not a lot of it and it just won't work because it's so rural and there's just not the population base to make it feasible would be the word I, I would I would venture with um, so where we are we have a grocery store drug store so we have a Hannaford's Walgreens um, one Chinese restaurant one pizza restaurant and a couple other places um, we did just just get a new barbecue joint that's really good um, I'll have to maybe film going there but to get to the next or the closest major not major but bigger city is um, it's about a 20 25 minute drive that's how far Walmart is um, that's how far um, yeah I mean it's the next biggest population base and then to get to like Burlington for us is about an hour drive which we're fine with. Um, it gets a little dicey in the winter, and I did do a video on uh, driving in the winter, what it's like after a storm. So I'll also link one of those videos down below. So if you want to look at that, you can. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to focus more on living in Vermont, not the tour touristy part. There is, um, I mean, there's some beautiful places to go, but no one's really doing a lot of traveling these days, um, even though they've opened up some. But so, yeah. We're going to go there. If, uh, if you could hit that like button, help me with the algorithm, I would appreciate that. And then yeah, drop me a comment below. Even if you don't subscribe, just drop me a comment below. Let me know if there's any videos um, Vermont-based that you are interested in seeing. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.